Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hai Indonesia, I am Wahyu Adi Pratama, Medical Laboratory Technology Student of Poltekes Kementerian Yogyakarta. As a representative, pemilihan mahasiswa berprestasi Poltekes Kementerian Nasional 2020. Before we go on, let me tell you a little story about me. I was born in Bruno Purworejo on the 26 of November 2001. My interests are researching and playing music. My father is businessman and my mother is housewife. Since childhood, my parents have taught me a lesson about how to be great man. One of them is my dad Japanese lesson about Suro Diro Joyoningrat Lebertening Pangastuti. It means that all vanity, hatred, and cruelty coming from power, occupation, and success can be overcome by wisdom, kindness, patience, and love. Soft skills come from organization activities, problem solving, and also communication skills. And I've been joining several activities such as In 2021, and I was the vice chairman of Ikatan Mahasiswa Teknologi Laboratorium Medis DBW Daerah Simpang Yogyakarta and in this year I am in the research technology sector. The chairman of Marching Band Kita Usada Politeknik Kesehatan Kementerian Kesehatan Yogyakarta. The member of internship program Konco Musikan Kaudanan Hakeng Punokawan Gerido Mardowo Keraton Ngayu Jakarta Hadi Ningrat. First achievement, I got the silver medal individual Melophone Open Class Silver Total Competition 2020. The first winner of Brass Ensemble Langgam Indonesia Virtual by Udayana University 2021. The second winner of Solo Melophone Open Class Asia Virtual Competition 2020. The third winner of Pekan Ilmiah Mahasiswa Nasional Kesehatan Bidang Teknologi 20 and 21. The third winner of Press and Sample Langgam Indonesia Virtual by Udayan University 20 and 22. The second winner of National Acoustic Competition by Jurusan Kesehatan Lingkungan Poltekes Kementerian Yogyakarta. Being the founder of Vaccination Program Kementerian RI 20 and 21. The oral presenter in the 8th International Conference on Health Science 20 and 21. The last achievement being the Vice Chairman of Ikatan Mahasiswa Teknologi Laboratorium Medis Daerah Istimewa Yogyakarta 20 and 21. Tuberculosis or TB is still one of major causes preventable death in the world. TB is infectious disease caused by TB bacteria or microbacteria with tuberculosis. Tuberculosis remains an important health problem in Indonesia. and pose the complex problems medically, socially, economically, and culturally. Based on World Health Organization Global TB Report 2020, Indonesia is a country with the second highest TB burden in the world. With an estimated number of people who fall ill, the GTB reaching 145,000 deaths, as many as 98,000 are equivalent to 11 deaths every hour. The signs and the symptoms of active TB disease are clogging, sometimes with sputum or blood, chest pains, weakness, weight loss, fever, and neck pains. It can cause a serious damage to the lungs and other organs. World Health Organization recommends that the diagnosis of TB should be made based on the examination of acid fast bacilli or EFP in sputum with a germination staining. However, laboratory assistants are still constrained in the analytical process, especially in the gel lesion staining method due to the lack of training or certification of the competence regarding the TB examination. And I'm here with my project of research title, Prima Vista. Paket media pemeriksaan BTA sebagai optimalisasi diagnosis TB di era digital. Prima Vista is learning bonding packages that have a learning application and adapter microscope to explain examination procedure and the user can to practice the examination of the TB. 
The Primal Vista package consists of microscope adapter that can be connected to mobile device and Android application so that it can replace the conventional method of surfing AFB. Primal Vista is equipped with an intriguing user interface design including patient database info feature that will link and match with their medical record. The microscope adapter can be used in all brands of binocular microscope. Plug and play characteristic, it can be used by all types of phones with screen size below 7 inches. Therefore, microscopic object observation will be clearer because microscopic object can be observed through the cell phones to help MLTS who in case have myopic visual impairments. The purpose of the research is to make sure the effectivity of Prima Vista application on the knowledge and increase the scale of microscope operation to medical laboratory students of all targets community to Jakarta in Ali Jinjang Grade. The hypothesis test in the research using the independent sample test and the independent sample test uh, converts at the means of two independent groups in order to determine whether there is a statistical evidence that uh, the associated population means are the significantly different. The efforts of the result of two groups show that the efforts of experimental class is higher than the control group with a difference of 29.67. The result of the T-count is 4.71 with a p-value 0.021, which is smaller than the critical limit of 0.05, and getting a significant difference in the uh, efforts of the two groups. It shows that it's increased in knowledge and the experiment group after treatment and the hypothesis is accepted. Terima kasih, Mas Wahyu, telah mengembangkan program screening yang diperuntukkan untuk tenaga ATLM. Harapannya nanti dengan screening ini juga menjadi notifikasi rate-nya juga bagus. Harapannya adalah Mas Wahyu menciptakan sebuah modul atau sebuah aplikasi yang ini merupakan awal dari bagaimana mekanisme temuan TB di masyarakat kemudian dilanjutkan dengan tata kelola TB sesuai dengan standar WHO artinya itu uh, langsung ke pengobatan dan uh, nanti bagaimana upaya menunjang eliminasi TB di DIA 2030 dan eliminasi TB di Indonesia 2050. Uh, saya sungguh bangga dan mengapresiasi uh, karya yang diciptakan oleh Mas Wahyu ini sejak mahasiswa baru yang bersangkutan ini memang sudah menunjukkan keluar biasaannya tertarik kepada pengembangan-pengembangan aplikasi, kemudian juga teknologi-teknologi, sehingga juga menghasilkan karya-karya yang sudah uh, maju di Pemnaskes tahun lalu, dan ini uh, merupakan karya baru yang bersangkutan akan ketertarikannya kepada masalah uh, TB. Ya, jadi ini sangat bermanfaat untuk uh, ATLM ya, dalam menegakkan uh, diagnosa untuk pemeriksaan TB. Semakin cepat dan juga akurat, maka kemudian dapat digunakan untuk menentukan langkah selanjutnya sehingga kemudian kecepatan itu akan bisa digunakan sebagai upaya untuk segera mengendalikan sehingga penyebaran TB segera dapat teratasi. Because a smart and healthy young generation will be bring the future for Indonesia. Dari Jogja untuk Indonesia.